Hello, my name is Aziza. I'm reading today for the sign of Leo for October 2019 for love and relationship. What do you see about Leo? What's going on with Leo love life for October 2019? What's going on for the sign of Leo for love and relationship? in the month of October 2019. Hmm. Leo, it sounds to me that you are keeping yourself silent. It's like, you know, Okay, you say something, but you don't want to say much. There is love. There is success. There is luck. But it feels to me that you are actually changing direction. Changing your direction about something or someone here. Someone is spying on you, or you have been spied on from someone relation in relation to you. Be careful about that. Okay, I'm picking on two signs here. There is an air sign and there is an earth sign. You have a connection. You have a connection here. Oh my God, it seems to be that you want to separate and walk away and isolate yourself. Like, you know, there is something like you not know, to do with separation, but your partner sounds here that this year or last year, it's all of it, especially this year, in an air sign like you know, that, they want it just to change things. They are changing a lot. But you find your luck, yourself lucky with someone. Someone else. There is love for you and you are waiting for the right moment just to walk away and be with that other person, but... feels kind of like you are it's working for you but it's not working all the way yet i see a trip for you also it looks like you know you find out like you know what makes you confident uh, or uh, looking uh, uh, treating like you know yourself better uh, talking to other people like you know in a better uh, tone of voice um but you have a lot of worry, a lot of worry, sweetie. Um, someone hurt you and upset you really very much and you are, you're kind of like, there is anxiety and worry here, but you see all of your worries are going to go away because uh, take care of your health, your health, Sometimes you are feeling better, sometimes you are not. There is something not right here with your health. But um, you are going to doctors and you take care of yourself, which is really a good thing. There is a wish, uh, wishes like you no know, fulfilled there, but it, it, you feel like you no, know, you need just with to withdraw yourself from the actual person in your life, like you no, know, just. It's boring for you. You don't know or if you are messed up with this person really a lot, the one in your life. Because it feels to me that whatever you do is not really working the way you want to. You like someone else. I see that you are talking to someone, either online or you know this person, but you are talking in messages. You are getting too emotional for this person. Sometimes you are strong about it. Sometimes you are doubting this actual person in your life, like you know, the one you like, the new love. This is a new love we are talking about. Before, I was talking about the person actually in your life already. But you are doubting the one you love right now. 
this is the new love. He can't kind of like, you know, be, I'm calling him new, but it doesn't sound to be that he's brand new as yesterday because it feels like you know this person for a while now. They are coming to you, but there is a third party. The third party in your life is not making him or her to approach you with the right approach. Like the other person in your life is blocking the new love from coming because you don't know how to behave or act or react on it unless you walk away, but you don't want to walk away because you have been in this relationship for a long time. Your partner here, the one you are with, not the new love, it sounds like you know, that they are fed up with some behavior of yours and they, they, they don't like it. They disagree. They have so much love for you. They do. But they notice that you are distant, emotionally distant. You are keeping isolating yourself from them. You are withdrawn to yourself. They just want to know what's going on here. You are worried about any other problems here. You have an issue of trust, like you, know, you are not trusting the new relationship for you to move forward. And you don't know how to deal with the one you have at home. You are in a total struggle and mess here. No wonder you are not really feeling good and you are always worried here. Let's see what's going to happen, Leo. Okay, Leo, what's going to happen between the Leo and the person she or he with for the month of October? You did a lot of effort here. You work really very hard, but there is a full disappointment. You don't feel this actual person. This actual person have been also emotionally distant. It looks like a Gemini person here, but it, it doesn't have to be. And this actual person like in your life, they have been stressed out about too many issues. It's not about you either. This person have in your life have been loyal to you, but you don't trust it. You see how many demands on this person and stress and disappointment and there is a quarreling, a argument between you two. You have been treated by him or her like no really very good here. You get your wishes, your wishes were fulfilled. They gave you a lot, but you kind of like you know, not feeling this person like you know, that you want to be with them anymore. Like you know, your feeling is really gone. It's like you have been shut off emotionally toward them because of too many setbacks. Time by time it's built up like you no know, at the end. Um it's not it's kind of like coming to the end to the end at this time between you and this person. But it's not actually ending as a breakup or separation physically. It's not happening that way. Because the person you are with, they are holding on you very strong. They love you. And they don't want to be leaving you. They, they still want you. But the person that you are with, this seems to be that they are thinking about a third party, someone else. See? They are thinking about someone else. There is someone else they are. They keep thinking about and worry about. They are protective over this other person. They have a lot of emotions. The struggle also with this person that how they can reach out for the other person because they don't trust that is going to be, for example, a secret. And they feel it's negative. Maybe they should not because they never been with this person physically or they never even open their mouth or say some, something about it. They are just keeping the emotions inside is developing into something really negative because the emotions are very passionate for the other person. But they, they keep hiding it and hiding it until they develop like you know, all of this toxic here, that negative 
because they are not expressing it to the other person or they are not doing anything about it. Okay. What's going to happen for Leo for the new love that they want? For the month of October 2019. Lucky. It sounds here there is so much luck. If you hold back on your relationship, you will get this other person. Because there is a great connection here. Look at this. Look at this beauty between you two. This is really a compatible people like you know, who get along and they are attracted to each other. There is so much magnetism there between you two. But you have to choose. You have to choose. You have been really up and down, back and forth about it. Moody. If you make the choice, you will be very lucky because I see this is this is so much luck actually with the other person. If you keep holding on someone else, this new love and the other relationship is not going to progress. It's going to be a stay still. Yes, you are quiet about it. The other person is thinking about you a lot. You are worried or you don't know how to break up with the current relationship. But you have been, if you have been stressed out about it and you are not feeling it with the current one, you should say something. If you don't say something, your emotions are going to die. Like, you know, just you won't feel this one or that one. Because with this one, I see that, you know, it's just the routine, family together. You do a lot, like husband, wife, kids. The other person, kids, I see. Uh, finances, uh, money, uh, work. But it's, it's just the routine. This is the routine. And it's not bad at all. But the emotions are killed here. Like, you know, it's not really much. This is really much making you feel better about yourself. And it's not going to progress unless you make the choice and you are back and forth, up and down about it. Will this new relationship for Leo get anywhere for the month of October? You are going to say something. You are going to say something for your current relationship and you're going to stop on them. Um, you are not going to say, oh, I'm in love with someone else or I like someone else. You are going to be really like you know, just saying that, well, you did this to me and you did that to me and I'm not feeling it and I have to stop. And you are going to find like you no know, millions of excuses. Actually, there are millions of excu excuses and you are going to do it that way. The other person you need to trust more because you think from their behavior they have been wishy-washy with you, but they are not because they see you that you like them and there is a connection here, but you are actually not leaving the other person. That's why they are acting strange to you sometimes and you feel that maybe I shouldn't trust it. Maybe they don't want to. Maybe they are not serious about me. They are serious about you because they did hold back on their relationship and they actually want you. And I know that, you know, you thought that they are not going to leave the other person. Actually, they are. It's really working very well for you. But you need to make a decision here. And it sounds like you, know, you are going to make that decision. Don't be shy because if you are shy, you're going to kill everything. Okay. I hope this resonates with you, dear Leo. And if you need a private reading, please contact me on mysticalaziza.com. The information will be below this video. Thank you.